describe that pitching this weekend? Uh, awesome. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. That's a, one of the better hitting clubs in our entire conference. And our pitchers came in. They pounded the strike zone. I thought their fastball command was really good. The off-speed stuff. We put guys away with two strikes. Um, and we played great defense behind them. So um, I, th I think that's a pretty good combination there. How much do you like that they were able to shake off that first game of the doubleheader and come back strong in the second? Yeah, I, again, we just the, – the first game, you got to tip your cap to their starter. Um, he, we knew in, going into it he was really good. I thought we, you know, we didn't do a lot to, to make it hard on him, uh, but it was good to see us hit the reset button the way we did. And, you know, after a little bit of a slow start in that second game, it just kind of took one little spark to, to get us going again. And, um, you know, it, nobody's ever been asked to play 44 conference games before. And every – Every team in our league was tasked with that this year, and for our guys to, to play they the way they did for 44 games or 43 games, couldn't be more proud of them. Like you guys found something or you guys were preparing coming out of the pen, or is that a different kind of mentality for today? Well, it looked that way today. Um, Perry, we've been able to have him go one inning, then two, now three. I wasn't sure after that first inning whether we were going to get three out of him. Uh, fastball was good uh, from him. He's just so competitive. You know, he's just out there. He's a bulldog. Um, so yeah, it was good to see him. I mean, he's just he just may be a pretty good opener. Maybe he's a guy that can get four or five. Um, we'll see. But Shannon, and it was good to see him. You know, know this week that he wasn't going to start and come out and, and pitch the way he did. I thought he was very competitive. Uh, he made a huge pitch to get off the field there uh, in the sixth inning with the bases loaded. How'd you characterize just the emotions from today? Was it an emotional senior day? Was it a business like day? Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't say, I mean, you know, it's just different. It's a different day because the timing's different with everything. You've got the, the video tribute, you know, you've got all this stuff, all the hugs, you know, all the stuff that you don't normally have before a game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was great to honor those guys. We have, uh, you know, those guys have, have meant a lot to this program and, you know, to this team this year in particular. How much was this weekend kind of an ideal ramp up for regional in terms of the arms that you saw, the quality of the opponent? Yeah, I mean, we, we talked to them, the team after the game. I mean, the last two weekends have, have prepared us as well as you possibly be can be prepared for a regional. You know, just the arms that we've seen over and over and over again, uh, you know, the, the high intensity, every you know, something riding on every pitch, um, and the way our team responded, uh, the, way we, the way we finished down the stretch, um, it, we're prepared for it. Yeah, it's just some finality a little bit of, you know, everything that you've worked for this year. Um, you know, we've won the league last week, uh, knowing that we were we, we punched our ticket. So just to find out where we're going. Again, at this point, it doesn't matter. It's just wherever they send us, uh, you know, it, you can't even really look beyond, you know, if we're a two or a three seed, who the one seed is. who the Like, who you're playing, that game is always the most important part of a regional. You start looking, you know, ahead to the next game or the next weekend, you got no shot. So... Uh, you know, whatever we find out on Monday, we'll be ready to rock wherever that is. Well, what's it like being a head coach and um, having a senior ceremony? You kind of look like a proud dad. What do these guys kind of mean to you? <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, again, I said it over and over again with this group. Uh, my first head coaching job at this level, the guys that I have on this team, um, and, and what they've meant as far as leadership, and, you know, we've given them a lot. You know, we've named captains for the first time in a long time in this program. I felt it was very important for guys to have ownership with that. And they've just meant, meant a ton. I mean, we've really leaned on them. And, and not just the captains, but all the guys, you know, that are, that are fourth or fifth-year guys in this program. I love them. They mean everything to this program. They've, they've been so great for this team. And it was it was great to honor them today. You guys started the season with no fans, and you finished with a packed house here at Haymarket Park. I know it probably doesn't surprise you, but how fun was it to play in front of all these people this weekend? Yeah, the, the last year has been tough on everybody. Um, and going into fall ball, we weren't even sure if we were going to be able to practice this fall, and then we got that. And then it, then it was like, well, are we going to get to play this spring? And then we got that, and then it was like, there's no fans. And it just, our guys just, we were so happy to be able to play, and then we found out we're going to have fans. It was just it gave us a little bit more, and, and just to be able to finish it off this weekend in front of this crowd, uh, man, it was it was a great atmosphere. Anything else? Cool. Thanks a lot.